Hi, my friends. It's Macy, and welcome to another one of my cozy productive vlogs. I'm starting off the morning by setting in the cozy vibes for our daily stand-up meeting. We actually just got this record player, and we've been having a ton of fun with it. I really enjoy playing chill music in the background while we're being productive, and it really helps keep our work feeling fun and lighthearted and enjoyable. This week is a productive one for me and my family. If you're new to the channel, we work together for our small business, Cozily Studios, and this week we are finally renovating our home workshop. Our home workshop is in our basement and we'll be transforming the space to an aesthetic and practical workshop for us to run our business in. Before we take on any big project, we always like to make thorough documentation to make sure that we have everything planned out perfectly. We have a 3D printing and prototyping area, we have a bunch of racks for storage, and a corner for Ashley's art endeavors like ceramics and resin printing. And lastly, we of course have the main workshop area where all the heavier manufacturing takes place. We also created a rough timeline for the project just to set expectations, and we also created a list of materials that we'll need to create our cozy aesthetic dream workshop. Many of you are probably curious about the app we're using for our doc. The app is Slack using their new Slack Canvas feature. Thank you Slack so much for sponsoring this portion of the video. For our team, we use Slack to communicate. Slack makes it so convenient to chat about multiple different things through various threads and channels. So now that we're able to create and collaborate on our own project docs on this app, it's just so convenient. You can use Slack Canvas to easily create project plans, tutorials, and to-do lists, and you can easily mention and tag your teammates to assign roles and responsibilities. Another nice thing about Canvas is I can access it anywhere I have Slack installed, so I can access these docs no matter where I am. Check out Slack and Slack Canvas to improve your team's productivity and make sure you sign up using my link in the description. So our home workshop is located in our basement and as you can see, it's not the most aesthetic place. The workshop is a total mess from all the projects and experimentation that we've been doing over the past few months. And honestly, I don't really know how Tristan manages to work in all of that mess, but somehow he finds a way. It's in desperate need of a deep clean and renovation, and that's why we're doing this, to make the workshop a more practical place to actually manufacture things for Cozy Lee Studios, and so I can film down here and share the process. So step one is to paint the walls. We opted to paint the walls over putting up drywall for a couple of reasons. It's a lot less labor intensive, sealing the walls will help control humidity and dust, and it's a lot more resistant to damage. Drywall is a much cleaner look than painting, but if something were to fling and hit the wall during manufacturing, it's a lot easier to patch up damaged paint than it is to fix a hole in some drywall. So to paint the walls, we're using dry lock. It's this really thick paint and it really helps control the moisture that might be coming in through the concrete walls. Because it's so thick, it's a lot more annoying to apply than regular paint. And you need a lot of it too. Tristan even tried to apply the paint with the paint spray gun, but it was just way too thick for the equipment we had on hand. It worked after diluting the paint, but it didn't take much longer to apply than just using the roller, so we pivoted. The most annoying thing about painting the walls was working around all of the equipment we have downstairs. There just wasn't enough room to put our large tools in a different place, so we had to work around everything and make sure that we don't damage anything. But in three days, we were able to pull it off. After painting the concrete walls white, we decided to paint the other walls in our workshop with an accent color. We decided on this light pastel matcha green shade, which I think is going to add a lot of color and coziness into this space. Fortunately, this part of the basement already has drywall, so painting went a lot faster. Tristan loaded up the paint sprayer and this wall was finished in about 15 minutes.
painting was so labor intensive and exhausting, so we totally deserve a nice homemade meal. I've been trying to eat a lot more fiber these days for my health, so I'm making a really yummy salad with all sorts of veggies, beans, and connie flakes. There's just so much flavor in the salad and it's my favorite thing to eat recently. Since it's summertime, we've been loving making homemade pizza and using our outdoor pizza oven. They're really fun to make and it's a really nice activity for all of us to bond while cooking together. It is the next day and we have to go back and finish cleaning and setting up this area of the workshop. There's still a lot more work that needs to get done, like storage walls and the ceiling, but that's going to be in our next vlog, so make sure you stay tuned. This part of the workshop is meant to be for assembling, packaging orders, and other general purpose tasks. We wanted to have a multi-use space, so that's what this area is for. In this section, we're using this pegboard from George and Willie to put up some shelves, which we'll be using to store supplies and also hang decorations. This area of the basement is where our production 3D printers are gonna be. We're planning on building them over the next few weeks. For those of you who are curious, they're Voron Tridents. Let's continue setting up the space and decorating the pegboard. the side of the pegboard, we're actually installing this daily roller, which is going to be so helpful for writing down to-dos or important notes for the day. So Tristan actually got a new toy for the workshop. He decided to replace the printer that he's been using for the past few years with something a bit more modern. So he decided to pick up a Bamboo Labs X1 carbon printer. Not gonna lie, this thing looks like it came straight out of Star Wars. It's like our little workshop droid. Included in the box were also a few filament samples. We got the printer that allows you to put four different spools of filament, and this is so convenient because the machine can switch between them automatically instead of you having to manually do it.
This printer has a lot of convenient features like Wi-Fi connectivity, auto bed leveling, and this really fancy touchscreen. But the nicest thing about this printer is actually how fast it is. It makes prototyping new designs and new products a lot quicker for us since we don't have to wait as long for a part to finish printing. With our other printer, we would have to wait a couple hours just to realize that that prototype just wasn't it. So this is going to be a game changer for when we iterate our next Cozy Leap products. We printed this cube as a test print, and I have to say, it came out pretty good for the default settings. I really like how this 3D printer is auto-calibrated, which is so convenient because I don't have to watch Tristan spend hours calibrating a printer. So yeah, I'm just so excited, and I can't wait to see what we're going to be able to pump out with this thing. So this is how our studio looks so far, and I have to say, in only four days, we were able to do a lot. Painting was really rough, but we learned so much in terms of what works and what did not work. I hope you were able to take some inspiration from our journey, and I'm so happy that we were able to transform our home basement into a usable, more aesthetic space. We're gonna be down here a lot, so it's really important for us that we make it cozy and an enjoyable space to create in. Now, can you imagine what it was like for us before when we did our first desk mat sale? Yeah, that was rough. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this cozy productive vlog. Comment below your thoughts. I love reading what all of you have to say. Our basement home workshop renovation is far from complete. We just had a lot of fun sharing with you what we were able to accomplish this week together. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for our next vlog to see it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.